introduce yourself? <laughs> Clearly. I'm Akon, uh, international artist, star, and uh, CEO and uh, chairman of Akon Lighting Africa and Selectra. Uh, so how did you get inspired to start the Solar Initiative, and why in the countries where you launched it? Um, well, it all started because ultimately I was a you know, child growing up in Dakar. I didn't have any electricity growing up. And it was always a dream of mine to be a part of the Africa's building infrastructure. Um, and the whole idea was to start with energy because energy was the key to starting the infrastructure building in Africa in general. So without energy, you know, nothing can happen. And that was why we just chose to do energy first. And where did, uh, like, how did the idea come about? Were you just hanging out, having coffee or something? Or? Oh, no, it was actually a, a aspect of saying, okay, well, I want to get into the energy because it needs to happen in Africa. So what steps do I take to get there? Uh, started reaching out to a couple of friends that, um, kind of understood the energy sector for a minute and then they introduced me to a couple friends that kind of helped me put a team together. Uh, Chon Young being one of the uh, uh, helpers as far as putting together who introduced me to Samba Bachili who's been in the energy sector for over 20 years so we kind of came together created a coalition called Econ Lighting Africa. And I, I mean I assume your first dream was music you know. Yeah it still is. And you still know? is, and still is. So, it's a reality, it's not yeah. a dream. No, no, I mean, first dream that he already is living. Yeah? But when did you first think about using that fame that you that you acquired? I mean, obviously it takes time to to you know, to fall into the role that you've been in now. Uh, so when did you first think about using that fame? Has it been on your mind since you were young and dreaming about, you know, being a Oh, no, I mean, when I was young, music wasn't even a thought. You know, I wanted to be a doctor, a brain surgeon, so. <laughs> It was one of those situations where music just became a blessing to me later on. As my life got older and I was in a position where I had to find something to do that I enjoyed doing but also could be rich doing. And music was the perfect combination. Um, but as far as the philanthropy side of it, I always looked at music as a vehicle to get to bigger and better things in my life, uh, to create bigger and better opportunities for me. And naturally with, with that kind of success, these opportunities just happen. And I want to take full advantage of helping people. Yeah, well, I mean, there's so many great famous singers and actors, and you know, from the perspective of the, those of us working to try to help the world, we wish more, more of them would have this passion and start initiatives like this. Mm -hmm. uh, do you try to get other famous people, you know, involved in, in this kind of initiative, this initiative, or just in, in general in helping the world? Yeah, well, me, I never really go out to recruit help, especially when it's for good. That's something that I look and seek for volunteers. Like, that's something you would have to personally want to do and want to be a part of. If I have to call you to help, then it's not as sincere as it is if you call and say, Khan, I like what you're doing, how can I help? Yeah. You know, so I never really recruited uh, volunteers. You know what I mean? Uh, I so, that. yeah, so it's one of those things where it's clear what we're doing, yeah. it's visible, and I'm open to anyone that has ideas, resources that can benefit to what we're doing, you know? Uh, so do you have any more, what, what are your next dreams and passions and aspirations beyond uh, lighting and solar? Uh, well, I mean, that's the main goal for now. Um, and the main purpose of it is to build my legacy outside of the entertainment, you know, sphere. I want to be in a position where, you know, my name could be along the legends, but not just as a name for something that brought good music to people, but something that actually created uh, platforms to help, you know, generations of people. And as an American, do you, do you think about getting involved in, in your home state, in, your, in, the, in the, you know, the crazy home <laughs> country oh, of listen, the United States? <laughs> believe it or not, a lot of this stemmed from wanting to do things like this in the U.S. But as you can see, everything is regulated in the U.S. Yeah. It would be impossible for me to get into the energy sector in the U.S. because of how the system is set up. But in Africa, it's a different story because it's a, a up and growing market. It's a, uh, the doors are wide open for these opportunities and it's a level playing field like if you have the mindset the drive uh, the connections the resources you can literally be you know parallel to the major corporations doing the same thing and actually be you know competition yeah, you know what I mean I totally understand yes <laughs> yeah uh, yeah breaking down those those regulatory barriers are not easy yeah uh, so you're doing a lot uh, but I gather from your music that you're really quite an introspective person uh, so I think you're always looking to improve. So, so do you have any thoughts on what you could be doing better with it, with this kind of thing? Um, I think there's a lot I'm learning as we go. Yeah. You know, 
you never really know how good you're doing it until people recognize that you're doing it. <laughs> you know, so I know we're doing pretty well because we get a lot of great compliments. We get a lot of people that want to support what we're doing. So my idea is, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. And as I go, I get to learn more things. I'm improving my um, strategies and, and, you know, ideas as far as how we plan and how we kind of set up ourselves in the future to not make the mistakes we made coming up. So things are just getting better as we go. So you just allow things to happen and just improve and learn from the mistakes that you made in the past. You sound like a perfect entrepreneur. Uh, no doubt about it, music attracts a lot of people, but may not be attracted to solar power, helping the world in general. Do you have plans for any really creative ways to attract people through music and funnel that back into helping society, like certain special kinds of events? You know, we have already uh, some special music events for helping the world and whatnot. But, um, Band-Aid, that kind of thing, you know. But, yeah. uh, but do you have any ideas for creative avenues for that? I think um, you're doing one this week, right? Uh, yeah, we're, we're actually always involved in a lot of different festivals. Um, we have the um, PXF, which is the Passport Festival that I do in Atlanta every year, which uh, generates and kind of gathers all the international artists around the world um, for a huge festive weekend in, in Atlanta, and I'm growing that out to be also in Africa as well. Um, these are things, and then of course we have the ALA Fest, which is the Akon Lighting Africa Festival that we're putting together. Eventually, where every part of Africa where we launch the project, we have you know festivities and and you know things to bring the community together, which is all solar by you know powered by solar as well. And then those proceeds will go back into building more you know opportunities solar wise or energy wise for the communities. So little things like that we kind of incorporate because it helps not only to raise the awareness, but it also helps to raise money to get things done when you know. The, uh, the local banks is not in a position to help. We got a few uh, final fun questions, I think. So, what pulled you to music in the first place? How did you get into music? Well, actually, I was blessed. I was forced to be in it because <laughs> I was just, I, was, I just wanted to be rich, yeah. which is crazy, but well, that was my goal in the beginning on, and by definitely. any means necessary. So, I kind of made a lot of decisions <laughs> that kind of landed me locked up, and I was in a position where I couldn't, by the time I was released, I couldn't get into a Fortune 500 company or do anything that would help me allow myself to get to that position. So music just happened to be the one thing that I was great at, that I love to do, that actually I could make a lot of good money when you with. were just singing, a, I mean, you just picked up singing like... It was a hobby. You know, my dad was a jazz musician, my mom was a dancer, uh, majority of my family is in entertainment. So it was one of them things where... It's in your blood. <laughs> it was in my blood, you know what I mean? And it came to save me later, so... And are you driving a Tesla Model X or Tesla Model I love Model that Tesla. Yet? <laughs> I, listen, Tesla is one of my favorite, favorite cars. I, I mean, I had... You're gonna get 28 cars, literally, from you name it, Lamborghinis to Ferraris to. I literally gave them all up just to ride and flow with my Teslas. Like I only have four cars now. Which and the, Teslas and that's, do you have? I have the Tesla S Which and the SUV. I got the I got the the sedan and the SUV in Atlanta, and then same in the SUV I, literally. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was listen. I was I was the first to sign up. We didn't see the news on that. Oh no, <laughs> listen. That's that a beautiful, boy, I'm, the I'm truth. thinking about getting that one. Uh, I, man, I listen, I, I got to have my own Tesla model personally. So I'm going to reach out to Elon and we got to work this out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. I'm sure he'd you know? be up for it. Come uh, on, let's come we have to. We'll, we'll try to get the news out there. And yeah. I, I typically ask clean tech experts what's your favorite song. And this, in this instance, it's quite a, quite a good uh, opportunity. What's your favorite song? If you can think of like one favorite song. Of all time. Man, that's, I don't even know how to I, man, you can't dude, ask a musician it's, that. Yeah, it's impossible, you know, that's, wow. No, that's hard. So, I mean, I drove the BMW i8 too, it's a beautiful car, but it doesn't compare to the Tesla. No, 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 and mind you, I was a BMW guy before the Tesla, right? But until the BMW becomes 100% electric, then I'll go get it. Yeah. They have to make the first model, let me test it. And I can vouch for it. And the Porsche Mission E, if they come out with a fully they electric need 100%, Porsche, dude, you get listen, it's not, it doesn't make sense to move, put, do half and half. You still, 100%. See, the difference with that Tesla that is light is done. The whole car is literally programmed by a computer, so there's no weight. And the, the torque on it is just, it goes because there's no weight to hold it down. Then you got space front and back for storage. And then to update, I don't have to take it to the shop. I just load it up and it does it online. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's the perfect car. We're going to say Akon, the Tesla fanboy. This is the title. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Absolutely. a lot, man. I'm, I mean, totally understand. I'm 95% focused on EVs these days. Nah, you Electric got to, car. man. It's the best. It's, it's the way great. to go. Thanks.